Hey friends, how's it going? Alexis here and I'm at my studio, the Plaza Roja. And this is the sixth episode on the series about making the music for the podcast, The Slowdown. Today, we are going to take all the materials that we made in the previous episodes and we're going to build different underscores with those materials using different techniques and different possibilities over the voice of Major Jackson, the host of The Slowdown. I think this is particularly interesting for podcast producers and for media producers to get creative about how to manipulate existing audio and making it into your own thing. Without further ado, let's get into it and I will see you on the other side. So here I have the master session where we can find the master mix, the stem mix, the master mix chopped up in sections that can be looped, and the stem mix also chopped up the same way. Now, before we start editing anything, I want to point out to a couple of things. We are in Pro Tools. Um, if we have this little AZ guy here engaged in the groups, uh, just by pressing the letter A, I can engage and disengage the stem group that I've made. So this is the group engaged. And this en when I disengage the group, I can select one track or one chunk here at a time. That's important, and also it's important to be in grid mode up here. Um, we have shuffle mode, slip mode, and then grid mode. Grid mode allows us, especially when our counter is in bars and beats, and our grid is on. You can see how the lines of the grid are on. I've also included all these markers here for sections, but um, let's not confuse that with the grid. And the grid is set to one bar. Why do we want that? Because basically, at any point, we can loop sections by bars. So for example, if I loop this section, that will be eight bars. We can see it here. The length of the section is eight bars right here. We can also type it here, by the way. We can type 10 and it'll select a 10 section, 10 bar section. Now I'm going to have my playback in loop mode with this loop checked. I right click there and then I'm going to listen to see what I get. Great, so as you can see, this section loops perfectly fine. So it's you need to use your ear and because sometimes you can get in the middle of sections, but at least with the bar um, metric, you make sure that rhythmically things are um, functioning correctly. So the first underscore that I want to do is just simply a loop, a loop of the mix. So I'm just gonna listen to this part. That sounds good, and I'm just gonna copy it here. Towards the right of my section, I have um, Major Jackson's voice. So I'm going to paste this here, and I'm actually just gonna make this an eight bar loop again. So it's just gonna trim it, and as I can see here, I have eight bars. And I'm just gonna duplicate it a few times. I'm gonna mute his voice for now. I'm just gonna focus on the music, see how this works. So we can see that it loops perfectly fine. I also want to note that I've put all my tracks here inside a routing folder. That means that then this way I have control over the volume of the entire music. Which is very useful because now I can put Major Jackson's voice on and then play with the volume of the music and see how that feels. As a young parent, one of my favorite rituals was to awaken my sleepy-eyed children out of bed, file downstairs still in pajamas, and, resting on the sofa, look out our living room window together. Sunlight slowly illuminated everything within the frame of our bay window. 
to whatever was in sight. We'd say, good morning, good morning tree. Great, so we can see that that works actually really well. Um, that's option number one. So let's look at another option. I'm going to copy the stem session, the stem cutout here, um, and I'm going to paste it around this area. And now I'm going to explore a little bit what is in these stems. So here we have drums. bass, have the acoustic guitars, electric guitars, I have this Ebo that reminds me of David Bowie's Hearers, steal from the best as they say. <laughs> I have the Rhodes keyboard that comes in here. I like that actually. And then I don't think there's anything for the strings and the swirl in this section. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this too. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to build an underscore with two of these stems. I'm going to engage the group again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this section and grab these eight bars. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to disengage the group. And I'm going to mute these stems. And I'm just going to duplicate these two. And let's see how that works. Actually, also, I forgot in the first one to say, generally, it's a good idea to fade. I just select everything and fade so that we can avoid any pops. Now I'm going to bring this to where he starts speaking. And let's listen. I'm going to bring the music down. And perhaps it's not a bad idea to fade this in a little bit. As a young parent, one of my favorite rituals was to awaken my sleepy-eyed children out of bed, file downstairs still in pajamas, and, resting on the sofa, look out our living room window together. Sunlight slowly illuminated everything within the frame of our bay window. To whatever was in sight, we'd say, Good morning. Good morning, tree. Good morning, squirrel. Good morning, snow. It was my way of helping them enter into the day. It eventually turned into a game whose aim was to exhaust what was seen. In a so as you can see, that worked really well. It's very, very subtle, very different than the first one. And it's just using two of the stems. So just looping a section and using two of the stems has given us a completely different underscore. But at the same time, it's completely related to the theme as well. Now let's explore a third option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now go to this section here. I'm going to engage this stem group, copy this section, and I'm going to go to underscore number three that I've prepared here, and I'm going to paste it. And I think, again, I want to loop only eight bars, and we've already checked that this loop works. I'm going to duplicate a few times. And now what I want to do is a build-up. Uh, basically, you can think about this like as a pyramid of sorts. I'm going to disengage the stem group, and I'm going to just mute these guys. These are the drums, bass, and guitars. We can start only with Rhodes. Then we'll add Rhodes and electric guitar. Then we'll add Rhodes, electric guitar, and acoustic guitar. Then here we also add the bass. And finally, we add the drums. So I think that we may not need this last section. I'm going to engage the group and for now delete it. So let's see how this sounds. First without the voice. That's interesting, just the roads. Then we will hear... Mm -hmm. 
Maybe I like, oops, maybe I like this better if the acoustic guitar comes in here and then the electric guitar comes in here. It's just always using my ear, trying to see what makes the most musical sense. Now with the electric guitar. Now with the bass. And actually, a good thing that we could do here is fade in these drums a little bit. I think that would sound interesting. And since I'm hearing some pops, I'm just going to grab all these guys, fade, mass cross fade. This one, I'll just fade it out a little bit here like that. Or for that matter, all of these, I'm going to, this is a trick that works where we can just cut the part that was had the little teeny tiny fade and then we can fade this part now. Excellent, I think we have an interesting underscore. Let us bring the music down and the voice up and just see what happens. As a young parent, one of my favorite rituals was to awaken my sleepy-eyed children out of bed, file downstairs still in pajamas, and, resting on the sofa, look out our living room window together. Sunlight slowly illuminated everything within the frame of our bay window. To whatever was in sight, we'd say, Good morning. Good morning, tree. Good morning, squirrel. Good morning, Snow. It was my way of helping them enter into the day. It eventually turned into a game whose aim was to exhaust what was seen. And of course, there was no end to seeing. We'd spar back and forth. Good morning, rooftops. Good morning, cars. Good morning, neighbor. Good morning, neighbor's dog. Admittedly, I wasn't being so original. The litany of naming was a riff. Also, the other thing that you can do here is bring down any particular track. So in this case, this engage the group, for example, and I think the acoustic guitar is too loud, so I'm just going to bring it down about 6 dB and see thing within the frame of our bay window. And that works better for me. So you can manipulate this in any way you want but here we have then a build up and we've done that only with an eight bar loop you can do that with a 16 bar loop with a two bar loop it's really endless so you have the flexibility both horizontally and vertically for the last example of underscoring i'm going to try something a little out of the box i'm gonna grab this electric guitar here just this part i'm gonna put it in my underscore so let's make sure it's an electric guitar and I'm going to go to all you sweet other and reverse I'm gonna reverse it just render right away so this is what we get when we reverse a track Pretty cool. Now I'm going to engage some of these plugins here. Um, let's try with a flanger. I love this sound. It's very 70s, 80s. You can mess with these parameters. You don't really need to know what they do. Just I would say just mess with them and see what happens. This sounds a little boomy to me, so I put an EQ and cut the low end. Let me loop it. And then I have a delay. These are all st stock plugins, so it's nothing really fancy. Suddenly, we have a totally different texture. 
Okay, so we got this, and now I want to play with a little bit of these swirls and these strings that we have in the B section. So I'm using the guitars of the A section and the strings and the swirls of the B section. So let's see how they sound together. Maybe they sound good, maybe they don't, but it's fun to experiment. These strings are way too loud. So let's just bring them down. It's interesting, there's some dissonance, but it's also kind of cool. So I'm just going to tidy this up and I'm going to make this a little bit of a fade in here, here, and here. And then here, I'm going to just, we can loop these differently. And now we eliminate this fade. Maybe we bring this back in a little bit and we crossfade it. And then we can just duplicate that and do another crossfade. So, same here. Duplicate this, eliminate these fades. One and two. Crossfade, crossfade. Let's see how this works with the voiceover. I'm going to bring this down. And let's listen. As a young parent, one of my favorite rituals was to awaken my sleepy-eyed children out of bed, file downstairs still in pajamas, and, resting on the sofa, look out our living room window together. Sunlight slowly illuminated everything within the frame of our bay window. To whatever was in sight, We'd say, good morning, good morning tree, good morning squirrel, good morning snow. As you can see, this is completely different than the other three. So what I love about this system is that you can really do pretty much anything you want. And with a little bit of imagination, you have basically an infinite score. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's recap really quickly and listen to the four versions that we've done of the underscore first one was just the loop i'm gonna actually just mix this as i go by good ear good morning good morning tree good morning squirrel good morning snow it was that's the one then we did only a few of the stems sunlight slowly illuminated everything within the frame of our bay window. To then we did the build up, which we're gonna just grab here. Good morning, tree. Good morning, squirrel. Good morning, snow. It was my way of helping them enter into the. And then we did the more creative approach with the different sections looped and with effects. Bay window. To whatever was in sight. We'd say, good morning, good morning tree, good morning squirrel, good morning snow. So, as you can see, there are many, many possibilities. I think the most important here is to use your imagination and to just go for it, experiment, use plugins, reverse waveforms, just go for it. And let's see what happens. It's always fun to do that. And this is it for this episode. I hope you got something interesting out of it. In the next and last episode, I will be in conversation with Major Jackson and Micah Kilborn, the host and the producer of The Slowdown. I will see you then. Until then, take care.